Milo's Boundaries Text by Réa Dufresne Illustrations by Geneviève Desprez Translated by John Kahn Published by Marie-Vincent Foundation Today, Milo arrives at daycare and pulls off his jacket. He can't wait to see his friends. Ryan and Cassandra are already there. Bye-bye, Mommy. You're so hurried, my love. How about a kiss before you go? Milo sighs and quickly kisses Mommy's cheek. Again, Milo is slowed down by his teacher. Good morning, Milo. Good morning, Justine. Georgia greets them and pats their hair. Hello, Georgia, replies Justine singingly. Hmm, the little boy mumbles. Milo, says Mommy. Georgia said hi. Answer nicely. Hi, Milo grumbles, continuing to his friends. Ryan sees his friends, drops his blocks, and runs towards him. He wraps his arms around Milo, very happy to see him. Come play, Milo! Milo pulls himself away and takes a step back. Ryan asks his friend, Are you mad? No. You don't like hugs? Ryan exclaims. No. Um, yes, Milo adds. Ah, Ryan replies, a bit confused. You don't want to play? Yes, I want to play. Let's go. The afternoon goes by quickly, and all the little friends are ready for nap time. Milo is just about to fall asleep when he feels his mat moving. Cassandra, move over. I want to nap with you. No, move your mat away. You can borrow my teddy, Cassandra offers, moving closer. No, cries Milo as he gets up. What's wrong, Milo? Georgia asks. I don't want to be cuddled for nap time. I just want my own mat and my own teddy. That's all. That's okay, dear. I will ask Cassandra to go back to her spot. In the afternoon, Georgia takes out the paints and paintbrushes and everyone has fun. Milo has a little spill, though. Milo and Marvin are covered in paint. While Milo changes his clothes, he hears some noise behind him. Hey, Fanny, go away, Milo exclaims. Georgia runs to see what's wrong. What is it, Milo? Fanny is looking under the door while I change, Milo hollers, getting more and more angry. Did you have a good day, kids? Daddy asks when he comes to pick them up. Yes, chirps Justine. How about you, Milo? No, I didn't have a good day, he grumbles. What happened? asks Daddy. Everyone wanted to... But before Milo can continue, he is interrupted by Miss Bailey, their neighbor, who plants a big kiss on his forehead and tells him how much he's grown. Stop it! yells Milo, pushing Miss Bailey away and he runs away and goes back home. Daddy sits next to Milo on the bed. He listens to Milo tell him about his bad day. You know, my boy, you have the right to set your boundaries with people. Everyone wants to hug me or kiss me, Milo groans, and Fanny watched me changing at daycare. If someone doesn't respect your space or your boundaries, you can talk about it to mommy or me or a trusted adult. What does trusted mean? A trusted adult is someone you feel good with. It's someone you like to see, who makes you smile, and who can help you when you have a problem. It's also someone who respects your boundaries. It's already bath time. Milo loves playing in the bath for a long time with Justine and a ton of toys. Suddenly, the dinosaur touches Milo's penis. Milo is startled, 
his eyes pop open and he says, Dino, don't touch my private parts. That's my space. Bravo, Milo, Daddy says. That's just what you need to do. You have to set your boundaries. Daddy? Yes, love. For hugs and kisses, can I say no even to people I love? Milo asks. Of course. Everyone should respect your boundaries. Milo smiles at Daddy and adds, Daddy, to dry me, you can come in my space and even hug me.